Good morning everyone. Today I would like to talk to you about managing your time when you get into this business. You see a lot of us are are employees when we come into this business and it is so critical for us to manage our jobs as well as our business in QNET. And that is where managing your time becomes very crucial. Most of us have a uh, eight to six job where we work and then we come back and have to work on our business. Uh, when I got started in this business about 17 years back, I had a job between eight to six. And then after six, I would go back home, get ready, freshen up, and then go into my activities. Our time uh, is very critical when we are doing our business part time. So the time available for you, be it during the day or be it during the evening, you have to plan it in such a manner that you involve yourself and use that time to get result producing to do result producing activities now what are the result producing activities number one is prospecting number two is presenting number three is follow through and closing and number five is signing up coaching them training them teaching your partners how you use your time is very critical for the success of your business and your organization. If you are a part-timer, it is critical that you plan your day in such a way that you do not waste your time. You effectively use it for result-producing activities. I remember my early days, I would, get, I would finish my work at 6, and get started in my QNET business by 7. I would get ready, I will dress up, I'll, I will, I'm sure I have a presentation every day. I would pre-plan it, I will uh, secure my appointments during the day so that I don't have to waste my time in the evening and I will meet my prospects one-on-one -on -one or in groups and share the business with them. It is so critical that you plan your day in such a way that the limited time you have as a part-timer is utilized for result producing activities. Another important aspect of time management is setting goals for the week and for the day. Okay, I remember setting my goals in the early days of my business. I remember my goal was to hit one check every week when I got started. I am I, not uh, saying that I achieved my checks every week. However, uh, I had a clear-cut plan to achieve that and, and every day contributed to that plan. Now, if you look at uh, hitting your first check, the first check would require you to get at least six business partners joining you and buying products and services from you into the business. Now to get those six uh, people to join you, I'm sure it requires you to talk to at least 10 to 20 people during the week. And that aspect of doing presentation every day in order to achieve that goal of yours during that particular week is the most critical aspect of your success in achieving your goal. So there's no point in, uh, in, in doing anything apart from this activity. The activity required is identifying the right prospects, talking to them, inviting them and presenting the business to them. So during the first week, I presented to close to 15 to 20 people. That means I have to present to at least two to three every day. 
and that was my focus in the first month of my business hitting one check every week week after week until i grow big in my business so setting your goals for the week and for the day is the is the most important aspect of time management and i'm sure once you get started you will get to know how to manage your time in a, the most effective manner it depends on the place where you live and the country where you are networking and it also depends upon the culture the time uh, the, the 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 routines of that particular place for example when i got started in a country called bahrain and in that country our working hours are between 8 to 1 and then 3 to 6 and with a holiday weekly holiday on thursday and friday and uh, the culture of the country allows us to do the business and meet anyone at any point of the day because the country is a 24 by 7 operating culture meaning everybody is available people are available to meet you visit you at, at any time of the day however in other countries it might be different so it depends on where you are but you need to set your goals for the week and for the day and work on achieving and uh, accomplishing those goals during that time period